90% of traders lose. And if you are watching this, you are most likely part of that 90%. If 90% of traders lose, then the problem does not lie in technical analysis anymore. I'm pretty sure that all these traders who lose knows how to analyze the charts with candlesticks, trend lines, support and resistance levels, etc, etc. So you are not a losing trader because you don't know how to use the moving average. This is not a technical analysis problem. This is a human problem. And the sooner you can accept that this is a human problem, the sooner you can actually do something about it. So here's how to win at the game of trading. Firstly, I want to start off by saying that I'm not here to show you how to trade. I'm here to teach you how to think properly while you are trading. My goal for this lecture is to change the way you approach trading. I can teach you all the technical analysis in the world, but nothing will change. You will still be losing unless you learn how to think properly when you trade. You will not get rich from trading by learning technical analysis. You don't need any more technical analysis. You need a serious review of how you think. So do not let your ego get in your way by telling you that you don't need to watch this video because you already know everything about trading. If you already know about technical analysis, then the answer to trading success is not more technical analysis. It doesn't benefit for me to tell you that technical analysis won't help you because the whole of my YouTube channel, all my videos are based on technical analysis and my views will definitely drop after this series is released. But I don't give a fuck. I started this YouTube channel with one goal and one goal only and that is to help you become profitable faster. I want to be honest with you and start off by telling you that I'm not the best trader with the highest win rate. I'm not even a millionaire yet. Maybe I'm close. But some of the students that I have coached personally have went on to become profitable traders themselves who are making thousands of dollars every month consistently. Perhaps the truth is I'm no different than you. Perhaps I'm just one step above you. Now, I spent the past few years studying what makes professional traders so profitable and how to win at the game of trading, a sport that most people fail. Some of the people that fail are literally the elites, the world's best doctors, the world's best scientists and mathematicians, really elite people. But they ended up still failing at trading. Why is that so? If every person that trades is a normal human being, meaning that they are smart, well-functioning and hard-working, why is there still a 90% failure rate in this industry? They fail because they haven't learned to think properly. They haven't learned to deal with emotions like greed and fear properly. They are still following what the majority is doing and the majority is losing. So how do you expect to get different results when you are doing exactly what they all are doing? Which is why I'm starting a revolution, a movement, something that has never been done in this trading industry. Now, this is the first video to a new series called Roadmap to Mastery, where I show you what it takes to become a top 1% trader and how to think like one. The average trader is a losing trader. Average is the enemy. Success is your duty and obligation. It is your duty as a trader to reach your fullest potential and roadmap to mastery will help you do just that. Here's what an average trading journey looks like. Sam found out about trading when he was searching for ways to make money online. He saw that trading is a way to get rich quick fast and he can buy his dream car in six months and travel the world. So he started learning a little bit about technical analysis, how to analyze the charts, like candlestick patterns and chart patterns. Oh, if I see a double top, that means I should sell. Oh, if I see a double bottom, I means I should buy. He started trading and then he got lucky. His beginner luck allowed him to generate some nice profits. But soon that beginner luck runs out. After a few trades, he lost it all and blow his first account. And then he deposited more money into that account and started revenge trading to get back the money that he lost. Well, ends up he lost that account as well. He blew that account as well. Now he thinks that there is something wrong with his trading strategy. So now he go out there and try to search for the perfect trading strategy that works all the time, which does not exist because no strategy works all the time. This is what most traders do. 
you are literally doing what everyone else is doing. If you continue to do so, you will just continue to lose money and lose money and you will never be profitable. My goal is to get you off this path and get you to start thinking differently. Start thinking like the top 1%. Now, what if I tell you that most mainstream advice in trading is wrong? Buy low, sell high is perhaps the worst advice in trading. Every time I buy low, the price will go even lower. Every time I short high, the price will go even higher. Then why do you still buy low, sell high? Because you have this thing called the supermarket mentality. When you go to the supermarket and you start saying that everything is on a 50% discount, something in you lights up and now you're automatically more inclined to buy more stuff. Everyone loves to buy stuff when it's on a discount. And now suddenly your diet is out of the window and you are pushing the sweets and the potato chips into your trolley. Now, if you remember back in 2020, not much people was talking or even trading cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Then in 2021, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin suddenly became super popular. And now your taxi driver is talking about it. Your sister is talking about it. Your mother is talking about it. Even my mom who doesn't know English is talking about it. Oh, Bitcoin is going to replace money. It's the fastest way to get rich. Buy now or regret later. And then in just four months, the price of one Bitcoin went from $20,000 to $60,000. You feel an intense fear of missing out as you see price of Bitcoin going up every single day and breaking all time highs. You think to yourself that if I don't get in right now, then I might lose this opportunity forever. And then at the end of 2021, the best thing happened. Bitcoin got cheaper. When price started dropping a bit, everyone started buying because it's a bargain. It's cheap, right? Buy low, sell high. And then it goes lower and even lower. And eventually, most people got out at the bottom and ended up losing money. So instead of buying low and selling high, here's what to do instead. Understand that the trend is powerful and you should not go against it. If price is dropping right now, look for selling opportunities. If price is going up right now, look for buying opportunities. Isn't it better if you short low and the price goes even lower? or if you buy high and the price goes even higher. Now, have you ever wondered what makes trading so hard? Fear and greed is what's stopping people from making money in this market. Technical analysis like Fibonacci and trend lines, all this stuff are not difficult. You can learn all that in one to three months. What makes trading so difficult is fighting your natural urges fighting against your very own human instincts. Being a good trader has little to do with tools and charts. It has a lot to do with fighting our humanness. Most beginner traders trade without a stop loss. And when price goes against their position, all they do is to pray to God and hope that price will eventually come around. And most of the time, it doesn't. So the loss will eventually get so big that they have to manually close the position because they can't take it anymore. Our mind has a main function and that is to ensure our survival and protect us against pain. It can be a good thing because it prevents us from getting injured unnecessarily. But at the same time, that is also a bad thing because pain is weakness leaving your body and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? As cliche as it sounds. That's why, that's why we go to the gym and we put ourselves in uncomfortable situations so that we can become stronger physically and mentally. When our open position start turning into a loss, we hope that price will eventually turn around. Our subconscious mind is telling our conscious mind to keep the position open so that we can protect our ego. The moment you close the position, the loss becomes real. It's no longer floating. It's a cold, hard loss. The reason why we wish the trade turns around has little to do with hope itself and it has everything to do with avoiding pain. Three years ago, when I was trying to flip small accounts, I would often over leverage and use a lot size that is way too big for my account. Back then, I only had like $500 in my account and when that loss started become too big, like at one point of time, it literally went to negative $450 in an open position. This means that if I lose $50 more, if the trade just goes against me more, 
I will get margin caught and blow that account. I felt anxious. I didn't know what to do. I don't want to lose my hard-earned $500. That was literally half of my monthly salary, bro. So I added another $500 to fund that account to keep the position open and prevent myself from getting margin caught. And when price started reversing and I was back to break even, guess what I did? I did what any of you guys would do, which is to leave the position open. Instead of closing the trade and getting out break even, I leave the position open and maybe hope that price will eventually go up to a profit, you know? Eventually, I ended up losing $1,000 on that trade because I got greedy. The truth is I was trying to avoid the pain of losing my hard-earned money. Most trading mistakes that you committed because subconsciously you want to avoid pain. Reducing your position size when you are on a winning streak avoid pain. Taking profits early, avoid pain. Letting your losses run, avoid pain. Another huge mistake that traders tend to do is to equate their floating profit with an item. Let me give you an example. Oh, right now, on MetaTrader 4, I'm up $1,000. Wait, I want that Balenciaga sneakers that's coming up soon. And that's cost me $1,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this trade right now, get that $1,000 and use it to buy that Balenciaga sneakers. You can do this once or twice and you won't see the immediate effect. But if you keep doing this over and over again, over the long term, it will eventually affect your profitability because you are not following your proper risk to reward ratio. Once again, you are taking profits early and you are letting your losses run. And that is why you lose. Because when you lose, you lose more. And when you win, you win less. And you can see the loss ended up over exceeding the profits. That is exactly why you are not profitable. Another mistake that you probably make is to close your position and take profits today because you want to get back the money that you have lost yesterday. What has yesterday got to do with today? Yesterday's trades don't matter. For example, let's say you lost $2,000 trading Euro USD yesterday and now you are in an open position and you have a floating profit of $2,000 in your account right now. Instead of letting your profits run, the next thing you know, you close that trade so that you can break even with the amount of money that you have lost yesterday. Now that I have shared with you some of the most common trading mistakes that losing traders make, it is time for you to rewire your brain. Get rid of all the useless knowledge that you have learned so far. I want you to open your mind up to accept the new unconventional knowledge that I'm about to share with you that will help you become a more profitable trader. Only then will you be ready for the next phase of this lecture, which is how to think like the top 1%, how to trade like the top 1%. Put money over your ego. The main reason why so many traders lose money is because they would rather lose money than admit they are wrong. Oh, I will get out when I'm break even. Why is getting out at break even so important? because it protects the ego. I finally became a profitable trader when I understood that making money is more important than my ego. The whole purpose of trading is not to be right all the time. The purpose of trading is to make as much money as possible. At some point of time, you need to decide whether your ego or your profits matter more to you. You can only choose one, your choice. Scale in instead of taking half profits. Throughout my entire trading journey, everyone has always told me to take partial profits. Oh, Brad, you know you should like definitely take half profits, right? So they can like secure some money back into your account and just play it safe, you know? What kind of small dick thinking is that? I myself have told you to take partial profits in my old videos. I used to think that you should take partial profits. Like when price hits, the first take profit, close half the position, and let the other half run. But recently, I realized that there is a fundamental flaw in this concept. I realized that this is actually not profitable. Now, by now, you should understand that profitable traders think differently from everyone else. So instead of scaling out, why not scale in and make more money on that one trade? Stop taking half profits add more position to your winning trade. Think about how you can make more money when you are right instead of thinking, where should I take profit? Now, instead of thinking, where should I get out? You should be thinking, where can I scale in? How can I add on to my winning positions so I can make more money on this one trade? Let me ask you a question. 
have you ever added to a losing position? Of course you have. I myself have done it many times as well. You buy here and then price starts going lower and now it's cheaper. So of course you're gonna enter for a buy again. Now my next question would be, have you ever added to a winning trade? Now suddenly there's more people watching this shaking their heads now. It's very difficult emotionally to scale into a winning trade because you are scared to lose your current profits and you want to protect what you have. On the other hand, it is easy to add on to a losing trade because we are told to buy low, sell high. It's in our human nature to want to cut our winnings early and let our losses run. This is exactly why you tend to take profit way too early before price even hits your take profit level. It is also human nature that we want to hold on to our losses and hope that one day price will eventually go back up magically. Instead of being delusional, you need to cut your losses and let your winners run high. Trust your analysis. If I'm in a winning position, I don't sit there and congratulate myself. I don't say, oh Brad, good job man, now we can chill. No, I want to get that position bigger. The more I win, the higher I bet. This means that if I'm on a winning streak, instead of reducing my position size, I'm gonna be increasing my lot size, risking more money so that I can eventually make more money and compound that account over time. Most people bet less when they are on a winning streak because they are afraid to lose all the profits that they have made so far. Another thing is I know that you have itchy fingers. It is very difficult to do nothing when you are inside a trade. It is hard to not touch a winning position. Now that's the true test of discipline. That's when cold hard discipline comes in. Trust your analysis and let that trade play out. Set and forget. Once you place your stop loss, once you place your take profit, once you open a trade, there's nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it right now because you cannot control the market. Practice does not make perfect. Albert Einstein once said that the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over again and expecting a different result. I always tell you to practice, practice and practice because that's the only way you can get good at trading. But don't get me wrong because practice does not make perfect. This is the reason why people continue to lose because you can practice and practice, read all the trading books in the world, watch all the trading videos and still continue to lose, still get nowhere in trading. Why? Because practice makes permanent and you are practicing on the wrong things. If you keep trading the same way and doing the same bad habits, you are just cementing your bad behavior. So correct your bad behavior first, then identify the good habits that a professional trader does on a daily basis, like journaling their trades, following their trading plan, and meditating. And then practice doing those good habits every single day, day in, day out, religiously without fail. And that is how you can practice so they can eventually become a good and profitable trader. Stop trying to predict where price is going to go. I'm not a fortune teller. I go into trading every single day, not knowing what will happen next. So whenever someone asks me, Hey Brad, do you know where gold is going next week? Oh, is your USD going up or down? I don't know. Do I look like I have a fucking crystal ball, mate? Anyone who is able to tell you where they think price is gonna go is doing it for his own self-interest. For example, if you ask a guy who is holding Bitcoin, where do you think the price of Bitcoin is gonna go? Of course, he's gonna say it's gonna go up so that you can buy Bitcoin and then together you can pump Bitcoin to the moon. Trading is not about predicting the future because that cannot be done. You don't need to know which way the market is gonna go in order to make money. You just need an edge, an advantage, a winning trading strategy that tells you exactly when and where to enter and exit your trades and then react and adapt to the market trade what the market give you. I can tell you exactly where price is gonna go and you will still lose money. So don't think about where you think price is gonna go. Nobody cares. Think about where everyone else think price will go. Think about that for a minute. Internal analysis over technical analysis. Take some time out during the week to be introspective and get to know yourself better. For every hour you spend on technical analysis, you must set aside at least 25% of that time on internal 
analysis. You need to know what your weaknesses are. You need to know what your strengths are. You need to know what you are good at and what you are not good at. If you don't spend the time trying to improve that, then how will you ever get better as a trader? Because if you don't know yourself, how are you going to become a profitable trader? Now, rather than telling you pretty lies about trading, which does not help you at all, here's a harsh truth. Profitable trading is boring and uncomfortable. When you are trading well, everything you do hurts. If you want to become a professional trader, you need to accept that everything you do when you are profitable hurts. Everything about being a profitable trader is uncomfortable because it goes against our very human nature. Journaling is not comfortable. Following your trading plan is so damn difficult. Practicing the patience to wait for your perfect trade setup goes against human nature. If you want to be comfortable, just watch Netflix and eat ice cream on your couch and be broke forever. If I have learned anything in life, that will be do the hard things that will make your life easier in the future. Delay gratification. Short-term pain will give you long-term pleasure. Normal leads to broke. Normal doesn't make money. You won't get unconventional results by following the conventional path. My question for you is, are you prepared to do what the 90% of traders is not doing? Now, most of you after watching this video will go back to the same old routine and carry out trading impulsively. In this case, this whole video was just a mental masturbation so they can feel like you are improving as a trader. Don't let this be you. Everyone wants to become a profitable trader, but no one wants to put in the work, or rather no one is disciplined enough to do the right actions. I'm not telling you to completely eliminate all your trading mistakes tomorrow, this week. I'm telling you to take action. Get rid of one trading mistake at a time. Start doing the things that a professional trader does on a daily basis. If you encounter a sticky situation when you are trading, think about what would the trading gig do. From now on, from today onwards, start thinking like the top 1% of traders and eventually you will get the results of the top 1%. And if you do the right things, day in, day out, religiously, eventually, the market will reward you for your unwavering discipline and persistence. I'm very, very sick of people messaging me, telling me that they have lost money in the markets again, which is exactly why I'm starting a revolution. This revolution is a movement and it is called Roadmap to Mastery. And right now what you're watching is the first episode and the second episode will be released one week from now. If you love my unfiltered and my uncensored trading episodes on my YouTube channel, you will 100% love this series. Guys, I really, really spent a lot of resources creating this series for you guys, which is I'm releasing for free. So you can see there's higher quality videos. I spent over $10,000 with all this nice equipment and the editing as well. And I also spent a lot of time doing research for this series, learning from the top, the professional traders. So I can guarantee you that it's good and it's going to change your life and each one of these video literally takes weeks to produce like i literally spent one week creating this video that you're watching right now the best part about this entire series is that all types of traders be it beginner or advanced traders will learn something so join me on the second episode which will be released exactly one week from now and if you are tired of losing money i encourage you to subscribe hit on that subscribe button and become part of this movement and help me change this entire trading industry together for the battle. If you have learned something from this video, share this video with a friend. And if you want to shortcut your entire trading journey and become profitable much faster, invest in the Trading Blueprint course. Link in the description. And also all my free resources like my ebooks, my newsletter, my trading journal is available in the description as well. And remember, you're just one trade away.